Hello everybody, this is Tazlon. Welcome aboard the Train of Thought, where we look at various concepts and transport fever and kick the bull off the tracks. You will have nothing to beef about because we will not steer you wrong. Move to another flat track and we're just going to look at the two double engine configurations and try to determine what is the most dialed in amount of cargo cars. Um, the previous map, the city wasn't big enough to test longer loads than what I had but here what I've set up is um, Mesquite has a demand of 47 <clears throat> and I have actually two towns here there's that Rockford has a uh, demand of 75 so I'm up over 120 demand should have no trouble testing out the much longer trains as always I have the, the, uh, the trucks I need already dialed in and before I start let me just remind you don't it's it's not fair to the trains to compare the results from this test against the last test because the tracks different and um, they 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 aren't going to pay things off at the same rate but what we're looking at is on this track how does the the double engine compare to the twin single engines that's what we're trying to determine which is best and more importantly I think because I think we're going to I'm, I'm pretty certain we're going to uh, to find out that on this map that the, the twin single engines with shorter cars shorter trains are again the winner between the two and so I think I'm going to run the um, 10 cars first and um, then 12 cars and if the twin engine setup wins both of those which I really think it will um, I'm just going to drop doing double engines after that and then I'll go out and test them um, let's see if I do tens that'll be a single engine with five two single engines with five cars 12 two single engine with six cars then 14 two single engine with seven cars and then two single engine with eight cars and I think that will give us a real good look at determining how many cargo cars are going to be peak efficiency and the cool thing here is because the twin trains are, are proving best when you have higher cargo demands it will also let you determine which is best if you're just starting out with a single train and not a lot of cargo say you're, you're starting to line off with a, with a town that just doesn't have much demand maybe it only has a demand of 45 it will let you see maybe it only has a demand of 50 or something 56 it'll let you see exactly how many cargo cars works best on a single train because when we're running the double single trains we get to see the same thing so it helps us two different ways there um, so let me get this first this is going to be a double engine with 10 cars one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so he ended up having to take out 4.2 million and this is one of the reasons why I say don't don't try to compare the results of this particular simulation to the map we had last time because we're starting with with uh, I think 500,000 more loan so the results aren't going to be quite the same you would expect this 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 simulation to take a little bit longer to pay it off because we started off deeper in debt but the overall results are going to be fairly similar this is going to perform strongly and if it goes the same as the last couple runs the the twin train with five engines um two of them are, are going to beat this so 
if that proves consistent over the the test of 10 cargo cars and 12 cargo cars we'll just drop off this double engine because I think we've proven pretty conclusively it's not quite as strong simply because of this advantage the twin trains get with this um, getting cargo online quicker so here we go I will see you in 18 years. Okay, we just started 1868. <clears throat> and we have $1.2 million left, but we're about to, uh, well, no, we won't make it this time. On the trip back, he should get it down another, a loan paid off. because he's produced more than 400,000 each trip each time he hits a station let me turn this up So I, I don't know if he's going to get all this paid off or not, but remember, you can't compare this to the last run. Totally different scenario. Based on the same premise, flat terrain, but the, the track is different, so it's not directly, you just, it's impossible to compare results. He's doing good. He's paid back three million dollars of, of of money, which is awesome. And here he goes with another five hundred thousand here. But I'm really wondering right now if he's going to get the entire loan paid off or just down to 200000 I would think when he gets back down to the refinery, he'll get to pay off another loan because he's hardly making any interest payment at all anymore. But I also think he won't be able to pay the whole thing off. He'll be down to 200000 And then we'll see if the the twin fives claim another victory when they get to run, which I'm pretty confident they will. Matter of fact, if they don't, it's going to throw everything into total confusion right now. They may not end up paying this off at all. One thing I've noticed on this simulation, and I'm not certain why it's doing it, <clears throat> you see that he's only bringing back 69 fuel this time. Last time he brought back 68. Now, I'm not anywhere close to peak demand. He's only at 30% here in, um, in Mesquite. In over in Rockford, 40, what is that, 43% or something like that? He's um, not even close 
to bring back enough fuel to meet the demand of these two towns but a lot of times he's bringing back one or two units less than 70 and I haven't seen that with the twin trains because they're getting to the stations more often I'm wondering if that's given them a little bit of an edge on picking up fuel no trouble coming out of the refinery but down or out of the oil well but down here at the at the refinery a lot of times he's just one or two units short of being max and that's been I've seen that on several runs where that's occurred nope he's not going to uh, pay anything else off so it doesn't seem like much I mean the difference between 69 and 70 on this track is like four or five thousand dollars but when you lose that over 20 years it ends up being a decent pile of money and they're running pretty much one one lap every year and so that definitely handicaps them a little bit by constantly being or frequently being one or two pieces of a cargo short of a max load in the other simulations I saw it happen every once in a while in this one it, it'll happen like two or three times in a row and then it won't happen for a couple times then it'll happen again and he stopped 123 so he is 700,000 in the hole add 123 and he's going to end up um, 500 what let me just subtract this so I don't do it wrong 9 9 that can't be right 579 577 I put wrote the no, wrong number down 577,000 in the negative so now we will run the twin trains with five cars apiece and see how they stack up and like again I'm, I'm, I'm pretty confident they're going to win and if they don't and it's like oh my god now it's really confusing but pretty certain they will so I'll be back in just a moment we'll test the twin fives and see how they hold up so f time for the twin trains with single engines and five cargo cars apiece let's get these out on the track and rolling And this next one will hold in the depot till they get on opposite ends of the route. Two, three, <coughs> four, five. Once again, the uh, the twin single engine jobs had to take out an additional loan. They're starting 4.7 in the red. And so as he moves down the track, I'll, I have to, if I hit the button, get him out on the track right about right in here, um, the trains will end up running almost exactly at opposite ends of the route. 
and it's not like I can just look at it and see what I've done is when I when I determined the trucks how many trucks I needed I just looked at I guessed and looked at where I clicked and how far off they were and so I know pretty much right in here is, is the sweet spot for doing it so but if you're just if you're just playing and you do double tracks like this a lot initially you'll learn pretty quickly about how far out it needs to be a lot of it's dependent on how far out your depot is from the end of the other line um, as that moves then the distance you click here moves so. what you're basically doing is taking the distance from the depot on the other end of the track and then just adding a little bit of track because he has to uh, get up to speed whereas your train already on the tracks running full speed this guy isn't so it takes just a little bit of extra room for him to get up to speed okay they're out in running be back at the end of 1868 so here we are for the end of the the twin single engine five car trains and as you can see on the financials it's um no contest within even during January 1969 he's already down to just 200,000 left over when he gets the other end of the track he's gonna pay that off and uh, he's basically blown away this double engine 10 car all because of that startup advantage I mean that's the only thing it can possibly be and so I think from this point on having pretty much established that on an initial starter route with with more cargo the the twin single engine trains are best economically from here on out I'm just going to be looking at what is the most efficient number of of cars to carry along and I'll just drop the double the double engine trains out of the test because they're consistently performing just a little bit worse than the the twin trains are so there's no point even looking at them overall they're going to have the same peak efficiency number of cars as these twin engines do so um, it doesn't really add anything just to add another train in the track kind of slowing down the test and boring us oh he's not gonna make it this pass yes he does paid off in 1969 he's over a year ahead of the double engine train and notice he's not getting these um, like one cargo unit less than max he's stayed at 35 once he got up to speed he's been 35 the whole time And everything else about this whole setup is exactly the same. The only difference is we have a train hitting the refinery twice as often. And that seems to make just a very small difference. Adds up to about 100,000 on this route over the course of 20 years. But even if you eliminate that, this train's still blowing the other train away by a large amount financially I think this will be the biggest difference we've seen so far As a matter of fact we already know it is because he's in the positive well he will be soon the uh, the double engine 10 finished in the negative and he's gonna finish in the positive so what was it negative five hundred and seventy seven thousand dollars and now he's up to two hundred and eight that'll go down a little bit he's going to uh, potentially he'll either he'll get in at least one more run so we're looking at a difference of it's probably gonna be almost a million dollars and I really suspect if we drug the length of this track out a little bit more the difference would grow and become even bigger so
so when it comes to to startup lines where you're taking out loans and doing your initial track and determining what engine configuration to use I don't know about you but I'm completely sold now on on these um, twin single engine trains spending the money to double track and uh, and now what left what remains to be seen is how many cargo cars provides the optimum profit so we're going to go with five and then we'll do six seven eight nine and I'm pretty certain by the time we hit nine we'll see everything start falling off I really think the difference it's either going to be the peak the best one is either going to be seven eight or nine and I don't know between those which is going to be and I really think the difference is going to be between seven and eight based on what other people have said I'm kind of thinking seven will show to be superior but until I run them I, I don't really know because I've never actually looked this close at it before and I haven't seen any of their data that shows what's best it's just I know a lot of people have said start with six or seven cars I already know that starting with eight cars is better than six because I've seen that multiple times now but what I don't know is where's the actual peak number and hopefully we can determine that here in the next few simulations I don't think they're going to make it back which will, is going to end up giving him about a <coughs> it won't be a million it'll be over 500,000 lead still pretty strong man if he makes oh, this is going to be close whether he hit gets in or not I don't think he will. We'll see. Nope, not going to make it. So close, but not quite. So, 805. 85, excuse me, 805. 85.9. So he was 85.9 in the green. And we had 577 in the red. So the difference here was six hundred and basically six hundred and sixty nine thousand dollars. Significant advantage and uh, replicates the results of the last couple runs. So I'm just going to drop these double tra engine trains out. They can't compete on this initial setup. They still are very strong performers and um, <clears throat> But when you getting into to when you're getting into towns with anything over over about forty eight demand, it's actually better for you to double track and use the split engine trains. It just you make more money quicker, which is the whole goal, especially in hard mode. At the at the beginning of the game, the the faster you can make money the easier it is for the rest of the game so I know this surprises me I don't know if it surprises any of you but I've never played it like this and now doing these tests it's like believe me I'm gonna be doing it this way in the future um, and now let's move on to uh, we'll do single trains of six seven eight nine and we'll see which one of those produces the most profit for us